so much for tuning in for uh, High Performance Monday. It's, or actually, we're going to talk about High Performance Wednesday. It's not even Monday yet. So today, what we're going to be training about is a couple of things. It's called fear, and a lot of things. A lot of people are extremely fearful about um, just a lot of things in life, and so they they don't even go to the next level. They don't even go to step two because they're fearful of step one. And so what I want to do is give you a quick lesson on just the two little things that you could do to kind of conquer fear. And it could be fear of anything. Um, so one thing I've done recently is jumping out of planes, so skydiving. So a lot of people are just like, man, are, how are you going skydiving? Why would you even do that? Well, the reason why I did it is because everybody thought I couldn't do it. And so the fear is, yeah, you're, gonna, you're jumping out of a perfectly good airplane, and you're just like, man, you know, what if this chute doesn't go, or what if this doesn't go my way, or what am I going to do, and how am I going to make this happen? One thing I've learned in life is that if you're 100% present, not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, not thinking about anything that comes to your mind, but you're 100% present, you can pretty much conquer anything you want in life. And so what I did is I was 100% present with skydiving. And got in that plane, and it was shaking, <laughs> don't get me wrong. And we went all the way up. It was 14,000 14, feet. And we went all the way up to the top. And the instructor said, you know, hey, are you, are you nervous? I was like, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. He says, but, you know, one thing I noticed was, like, I was nervous, but I, w I was more excited. I was going to really do this. And right when I was about to jump off the plane, you have somebody attached to you. It's, it's called a tandem jump. They're just not going to let you jump the first time with nobody. Um, right when I jumped off the plane the tandem, with the tandem jumper strapped to me, I just I looked out in the sky, and it was beautiful. It was almost like one of those clear days. And, you know, skydiving, you don't really, your sense of falling is actually gone. Because you're jumping so high, you can't even see the ground. And so because you can't see the ground, your perception is gone. Like, it's totally gone. There's no perception of falling. And so when I actually jumped, it felt almost like if you stick your head out of a convertible and you're going 100 miles per hour, it's just like the wind is going as fast as you possibly can. And so that's exactly what happened. The wind was going like... And then... Like, probably 10 seconds later, we pulled. And we pulled, and the parachute went up. I slowly went down. But for that split 10 seconds that I was up there, it was the first time I ever felt like what they call total freedom. It was freedom of, like, just being so present in the moment. I wasn't thinking about what I had to do at work the next day. I wasn't thinking about, man, my past, all this stuff happened to me, and no, I got to do this, and I can't believe this guy's doing this to me, and I can't believe this is happening. But none of that mattered because I was 100% focused and present at that current moment. See, so what I do is to conquer fear, and, when, and actually when I landed, it was, they asked me, say, hey, you know, Franklin, how was it? And I said, it was, it was the best thing I've ever done because I was one of the only moments that I was actually present like just present with that moment. And so now, I do that now. How to conquer fear is be 100% present. So why would you be fearful of something that hasn't happened? So a lot of people are fearful of like, oh my goodness, what if this happens? Or what if this happens? Or, you know, let's say in my, in my industry of real estate, well, what if I go with this coaching guy and he does it wrong? Or what if I buy this property or this investment and it turns out bad? I believe that whatever you put in the space, whatever you actually speak, will come to reality. So if you speak that, it'll probably come true. But if you speak positive thing, then now come the true also. And you just be present with that moment. Because a lot of things that you've created in your mind actually has not happened. It hasn't even occurred. Because you've already, but you've created it in your mind. And so because you already created it in your mind, you actually feel like it actually already happened but it hasn't happened. So just really get present to that. Like, all the fear that you have right now, has it actually happened? Or probably it happened in the past, but it's not happening right now. But you're letting your past already dictate what you're gonna do in the future. 
It doesn't really make a lot of sense. So for me, when I was skydiving, it was 100% being present at the moment. And now with my business, it's everything being present. Just being present. You know, our biggest thing in our company, Transforming USA, is creating possibilities of home ownership for all Americans. You know, when I do stuff on the web, it's creating possibilities of people to have wealth that they never had before. That's my mission. That's not just like a statement. That's the mission. So state whatever your mission is, and then that's what's going to happen. So this is Franklin Cruz. Again, how to conquer fear is be 100% present, and that will conquer your fears. Thank you again for signing on and uh, wait for next week. If you want to also subscribe to all the Wednesday high performance videos, you're going to probably see a little video here or a little subscribe button here, and you can do so. Then.